Hello and welcome to my store. Here everything is four dollars. You can get whatever you'd like for four dollars. Doesn't matter what it is, but it's four dollars. Nothing ever goes on sale. I don't want to see any five dollar bills. Everything's four dollars. I just want to see regular dollar bills in increments of four. Here at the the homeless back alley shop where everything's four dollars, we like to get demonetized for getting a little too savage and tasing yourself. <laughs> Apparently YouTube doesn't like that. Apparently that's against the rules or self-harm or something. A bunch of kids flag my video for inappropriate content. Yeah, kid, well, your mom's inappropriate content. No one's flagging her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mr. Homeless, I don't feel so good. I don't want to go Mr. Homeless. Apparently... You cannot tase people in your videos. My store, I mean, it's cost more than four dollars apparently, but that's not must must not be my store because everything here is four dollars. Since YouTube really doesn't like people tasing themselves because it's against the terms of service or something, I decided the best thing to do would be to make the intro to this video 240 frames per second of me tasing myself again. Ah, oh, look at this game. Look how good it looks. Just look at it. Soft colors. Look how look how smooth everything is, right? This game this game's old, but baby. But apparently, my comment section says I'm colorblind. And so I I've I've, I've I looked for some help. I'm colorblind. How do I fix that? Huh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that, that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This looks like I mean it's it's disgusting. It hurts my eyes, yes. And this is with the within the rules to do this. I uh, I, I this one hurts a little. So to not be colorblind, I ran a whole lot of weird programs behind my Rainbow Six Siege. Hopefully enough to get banned by Battle Eye. Like I had a lot of stuff running, a whole bunch of third party programs, and they say you shouldn't do that. Anyway, the instructions on how to do all this are on my second channel, Nick Post, link in description. Originally, I wanted to do this just to just to like make my retinas bleed. I wanted to hurt my eyes. Turn it up to 11. Turn it all up to 11. I want my retinas to bleed. I want to smell the vibrance coming off of my monitor. And I wanted to make the game look like Fortnite. Like, I wanted it to look disgusting. And then maybe also make, like, a color setup that made my videos look better. Oh, that actually looks super pretty. Oh my... Bruh. Look at the colors. But as I started applying weird color hackeroonies, I couldn't help but start applying science to the situation, okay? So I started applying real live science, not even the Bill Nye stuff, like real science. It's no secret that humans react faster to brighter colors, things, you know, things that are easier to spot. So long for that. <laughs> Nice, so instead of just inflicting pain on my frontal lobe, my inner tryhard oh. took over. I started trying to make the most advantageous color scheme possible, like a color scheme that made it easier to see enemies so you could react faster to them. I've made a video before saying how it's easier to react to the bright colors on of like bright skins and cosmetic items that you can put on your guns. So if I could do something to the game to where the contrast of the actual map itself oh. versus... <laughs> You don't want to play with the contrast all the way down. <laughs> the people, like the, the characters, like say Ash was standing next to a wall or Buck was standing next to a wall. If I could make it to where the actual thing I need to shoot is lighting up really, really bright and then everything else is just a really different color, then it would give me an advantage over my enemies because I'd be able to react quicker. Ooh, the enemies show up kind of a different color, like a pinkish. So... This might be the money. Uh, unfortunately, I temporarily made the game look like Radical Heights. It did. It was pretty disgusting for a while. I played around with a lot of different colors. I don't know why I like this. Uh, like I, I, I went back and forth on like a thousand different things and a thousand different filters and a thousand different programs to make all of this switch through all these colors. After playing around with all of the colors for a very long time, hours. I played around with the, the colors for hours. I finally settled for two color schemes that I found gave me the biggest advantage. Ha! 
I love just outsmarting and outplaying the terrorists. Okay, so let's compare these settings to another preset that I have developed. These settings. Hmm, both interesting and slightly painful. This one is less intense, but still has the shades of green where the light is. Now, because the, with the real science thing, I just knew based on science that the human eye can see more shades of green than any other color. So I thought to myself, if I can tint everything a little bit of green with a whole bunch of contrast and a whole bunch of other colors that are super bright and easy to react to, then I'm gonna get an advantage. So I found a couple of settings that I think actually helped me see enemies better. I do realize that these will probably give a lot of people a headache. Like I, I, I didn't get a headache surprisingly, but I, I was like, this is, a lot of people are gonna have a hard time. So after finding the perfect color schemes, naturally, per usual, when we do something that is probably almost bannable, but not bannable enough to actually get banned, we go straight into ranked. I played a bunch of ranked games. So I got a bunch of ranked clips. Uh, here they are. And there was a lot of situations where I actually felt like, so like I'd be spectating someone and I'd be like, well, there's a person right there and they would react really slow. I'm spawn peeking because they're looking at like a beige on a brown and I'm looking at like a bright green on a bright pink And so it's easier for me to see it So I actually felt like there were a lot of situations where I could react faster than everyone else. Uh, sorry if this all got too scientific uh, uh, I I got way too into this They got me I felt like it was just gonna be like a, a quick video of me turning everything into super neon colors and then suddenly I spent three days messing with the color schemes and coming up with a bunch of weird ways that I could possibly have an advantage and maybe get banned. In conclusion, does any of this matter? I don't know, man. I don't know if anyone else has made a video like this. I'm trying smart. I'm a try smart. Oh, bruh. I'm a try smarter. Oh, <laughs> instead of a try hard, I'm a try, try smart because like I don't actually want to try very hard. I just want to like think really hard to get the best advantage that bruh. Bruh, that's that. That's conclusion. Conclusion is I'm a try smart, not a try hard. So you can all quit calling me a sweaty try hard. You can call me a sweaty try smart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honestly, I think getting banned from this game will be the best thing that's happened to you. Then you'll start doing all the stuff. Reloading, cover massive. me. Like to a level that siege can't reach. You know. Right now, trying to kill this blitz, and he does absolutely molest you. They're taking you down to 12 HP, sitting on top of an open door, never a smart idea. Pick that pop from below, pick that pop from above, pick that pop from the window. He has no idea what to do himself. Well, this 12 HP is just spraying him with the pistol, he's got nothing to do. But he gets the frag. Brainless gameplay from both Papadzi and the enemy there. I don't know what he's seeing on his screen because he is obviously hacking once again. You just have to get to do anything about this complete scumbag. He's here with his, I imagine, bright colors on the screen. I'm not sure. I can't see what he sees. But all I know is he could be at an advantage or a disadvantage. Either way, it's entirely unfair for the enemy and should not be allowed in this game. Ubisoft, if you're watching this, please ban Papadzi. Ban me! I kind of just like to look at it. Everything's so bright. It's almost like it keeps your eyes locked on every single little pixel. You can't stop looking away. Huh. You'll see in this? Look at that mountain. Look at that big yellow mountain. 